Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to a new update of Yandere Simulator. And yes, you guys saw that right. Yandere Chan just splashed a bucket full of water onto the ground. You can now be clumsy in this new update. There are also some other ways you can kill Kokona. Well, only Kokona for now because you can't kill the other students. Like, if I wanted to splash Midori, I couldn't do anything. She doesn't react to it. Maybe she likes being splashed with water. But we are going to see how Kokona reacts to it because I haven't done that yet. So let's fill this bad boy up. And then let's go head over to Kokona and splash that ass. And I kind of don't want to splash Kokona while she's in that crowd. I kind of want to do it while she's talking about compensated dating. Imagine her saying, oh, I'm never going to do that again. Yeah! What the fuck is this water doing on me? Just like when you splash her from on the rooftop all the way down to when she's on the first floor. Let's try to do it again. So she should be getting that phone call. Oh, there she goes. Right on cue, Kokoni. We are going to put this bitch in cinematic like so. Actually, let me, yeah, let me do it this way, and then I'm gonna run to her while she's talking. So let me keep quiet. Let me see what she says. Okay, let me run towards her, and boom! Gotcha, bitch! Seriously? Be more careful. Like I said. Seriously? You know what? I'm gonna splash you again. Fuck this. I'm gonna meet her back at the locker room, and I'm gonna splash her one more time. She shouldn't be talking to me like that. I'm coming back, Kakon. You better watch your ass. Okay, guys, she's running right there. Let me get her again. Another yes! one. Ugh, seriously? Be more careful. Oh, I'm sorry, Kakoni. I didn't mean to do that. Fuck it. Let's do it again. Uh, you can't get this bath water here. Uh, I wish you could get water from there. Okay. Uh, I guess we can't refill the water. Let me try spraying her when she's sitting down in class. I want to see what she does. Oh, and you can actually just fall down with the bucket in your hand. Look at this. <laughs> you can face plant as you're running. Look. <laughs> it's like instant pancake onto the floor. That is crazy. Okay, anyway, the animation's really cool. Let's try to splash Kakona while she's in class and see what she does. Hello, Sensei. I'm just here to bring the bucket. You. Oh, sorry. I'm so clumsy, Kakona. I didn't mean to splash you for the third time. Sorry, guys. I didn't mean that. Let me just get my bucket and go. Hi, Senpai. Hi, Senpai. Okay, I can't grab my bucket, Senpai. Sorry. What's up with her? All right, so that's what happens when you splash Kakona in multiple locations. We've done it while she's on the phone. We've done it while she's in class. Just for shits and giggles, let's do it while she's talking on the roof with Saki. Okay, there goes Kakona. She's about to go talk to Saki about the domestic abuse. Let's walk over here. And... Oh my god, a pebble was on the floor! I did not see that. I'm so sorry, Kakona. careful. Okay, for the fourth time, Kakona is gonna go change her clothes. Is she running along the railings? Where is she going? Oh, okay, she's actually going downstairs. Alright, so the last place where we can splash her is in the bathroom on Wednesday while she's taking a hori shitu. So let's go splash that ass. La 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 la. Oh shit, Kakona! What were you doing in the toilet? I totally didn't see you there. Careful. I tripped over another pebble. I don't know why there was a pebble in the bathroom. I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to go change again. Alrighty then. And before she changes, let me actually spare her one more damn time. Okay, let me see if I can get a Kobe in this bitch. Kobe! Yeah! Ugh, seriously? Be more careful. I like how she looks at her hands like she doesn't know what just got on her. Like, what is this? Is this jizz? <laughs> okay, but anyway, we have sprayed her enough. There is also something more sinister that we can pour on her besides water. If you guys don't know what it is, I'll give you a hint. It's lit. Real lit. <laughs> this is gonna be so fucked up. And I'm telling you guys right now, that is not piss in that bucket. This is straight up gasoline. We are about to make Kakoni some barbecue chicken, ladies and gentlemen. But before we do that, we gotta get a request from our main girl, what Info Chisel. Mean? Get a drop of a what box of matches. There we go. She's gonna drop it like it's hot. Give it to me, baby. There you go. Let's carry that. And, oh, you can only carry one at a time? Oh, shit. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought you could carry two at a time. Wait, let me put this away. Wow, you can't conceal the matches? Ah. Okay, actually, you know what, guys? I have an idea. Since I can't conceal these matches, I'm gonna head on over to Kakona's classroom. Then I'm gonna put the matches by her side so I have easy access to them. Then I'll come back with a bucket full of gasoline, and I am gonna light her on fire inside the classroom, and I'm gonna see what the reaction is. It's probably gonna be epic as fuck. Now it's the moment of truth. Kakona is walking up, 
this is going to be crazy as shit. I can't wait to see this. I'm going to wait for all the classmates to come in here because this is basically going to be like theater. It's going to be a show and we are going to perform. Me and Kakoni are the main actresses. So I think everybody's here and Senpai's definitely here. So let's grab this and boom. Okay. What is this? Welcome to KFC. Home of Kakoni Fried Chicken, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god, the teacher is just on top of Kakona while she's on fire! What the fuck?! That is crazy, and look at Yandere-chan flicking the match like a damn boss. Holy fuck, that is badass. Damn. She ain't barbecue chicken, she is just straight up burnt! Damn, she got fucking roasted! That is crazy. That is sick and twisted. I love it. Okay, we're gonna try that one more time. I kind of want to see that in cinematic mode. Okay, while I'm waiting, let's see where we are gonna set everything up. So, she's gonna be at her desk when I do it. So, maybe I can do it right here. I gotta time it just right, though. So, R to pick up the match, and then E to throw the match. There you go. And I like how the teacher gives no fucks that I'm throwing matches in the classroom. I'm just like, hey, Sensei, look at this. And she has that evil smirk on her face. How badass is that? Look at this. Look at this smirk when she throws it. She's like, yeah, I did that. What you gonna do about it, bitch? This is an okay angle. I don't feel like it's the best angle because it'll be from Kakona's backside. I kind of want it to be right in front. So let's have it right there. Actually, yeah. Let's have it right over here. Because I need to be in view too. Because I need to know if I can port on her. So I'm gonna port like this. And then I'm going to grab the match, which is off camera right here. Then I'll flick the match. But I got to be precise because when you throw the match, it shows you where you're throwing it to. So this is going to be a little complicated. Hold on. Let me carry this. And then I'll be throwing the match there. That's not going to hit her desk. Is it going to be right here? Yeah, there you go. That's kind of right on her desk. So I know what to do. I'll be right here. Boom. And then I'll have the matches right here okay you know what i'll figure it out once i do it let's see if we can get this in one try okay everybody's here showtime ladies and gentlemen let's angle it right here just throw this and boom really nigga. Oh, fuck i missed damn it okay this time i'm just gonna pour gasoline on her then when i throw the match i'm gonna put it in cinematic so we can see the animation of how she looks like when she's on fire and i know that sounds sick and twisted because it is okay so let's pour the gasoline what is this yes it's it gasoline like come on gasoline. come on get it okay throw it throw it on her Kobe. Yeah. oh shit okay there you go <laughs> And then the teacher teabags her while she's on fire. That's the most fucked up part of it all. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Whoever ordered extra crispy, your order's ready. Oh, and now the teacher's posing on top of Kakona's roasted body. That is so fucked up. You should be charged with murder for being a douchebag. Okay, but that's what it looks like when you set Kakona on fire after you douse her in gasoline. There is also one more way we can kill Kakona. And that method is with these dumbbells. And no, we're not gonna start lifting to get extra strong and start bodybuilding so we can fight Kakona one on one. We are just gonna grab these dumbbells and start placing them in the bucket. So that's the last dumbbell. Let's carry this. And we are super strong. Like, say these are just 10 pounds. That's 50 pounds she's carrying. She's a tough girl. I mean, I know she looks really innocent and just thin and frail. But she's strong as fuck. Don't mess with the Yandere. Let's go on the roof. And let's wait for Kakoni to start talking. And then we're going to dump this shit on her. Or actually, can we dump it on her right now? Okay, Kakona should be... Okay, Kakona is right here. Let's dump these dumbbells on her. And... Be. Oh shit, no, and the gym teacher be. said it can't be a split second as she got hit there. She's like, it can't this be. These are my dumbbells. Why would anyone do this? I'll call the police immediately. 
Okay, so there you have it, guys. Those are the ways you can kill Kokoni. And yes, you can only kill her right now. You can't kill Midori Gorinu. You can't kill my waifu. You can't kill Oka yet. You can only set Kokona on fire. And you can only dump the dumbbells on her. But maybe there are some myths that we can prove right or debunk. So if you guys have any ideas of ways we can implement these new things inside of this game, please let me know in the comments below. I can't wait to get Yandere Simulator myth started. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Like, and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead too! <laughs>